Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are going to solve for the angle theta given this trig ratio here and we want theta to be between 0 and 360 degrees. This means that we're going to find every value of theta that satisfies this expression uh, between 0 and 360 degrees. So to do this we have to remember our cast rule. So let's refer back to that. If we have the uh, Cartesian plane here like this, <clears throat> excuse me, our uh, quadrants are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And our cast rule says that the uh, trig ratios are um, positive in these quadrants. So there's our CAST acronym. This means that in the fourth quadrant, the um, cosine ratio will be positive. In the first quadrant, all of the ratios will be positive. In the fourth quadrant, the sine ratio will be positive. And in the third quadrant, the tangent ratio will be positive. So that's what our CAST rule says. So when we're solving for this um, particular angle in this equation here, we see that the tangent of the angle is negative. So this means we're going to be working in um, the fourth quadrant and in the second quadrant because these are the two quadrants where the tangent ratio is negative. The tangent ratio is positive in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant according to the cast rule. So we know the two angles we're going to find are in the fourth and in the second quadrant here. So the first thing we want to do is uh, solve for angle theta here using the uh, inverse of tangent. So we do this on our calculator to solve for theta. And when we do that, uh, we're going to get negative 49 degrees. Now this is a negative angle, but we can still work with this. We don't, when we calculate our trig ratios on our calculator, we don't always get um, positive angles, meaning we don't always get principal angles that go counterclockwise. Sometimes we get negative angles. And so if we get a negative angle, we're going to go clockwise this way from the positive x-axis. So the 49 degrees goes here and the terminal arm will land right here in this fourth quadrant, which is correct because we know that the tangent ratio is negative in the fourth quadrant. So there's our uh, first related acute angle there. But we always want to uh, give our answers as positive principal angles. So this negative 49 degrees is not what we want our final answer to be for solving for theta. So we need to figure out what the uh, principal angle is or the related angle is that comes around this way, like this. So in order to solve for that, we're going to do 360 degrees minus 49 degrees and we get 300 and 11 degrees. So that's the first solution uh, for this expression. But we know that we need another angle that falls between 0 and 360 degrees and that second angle is going to fall in the second quadrant because that's where the tangent ratio is also negative. So if we have a related acute angle here of 49 degrees, the related acute angle in this quadrant is also going to be 49 degrees here. And now our job is to find the principal angle made with this uh, terminal arm. So to find that one, we are going to do 180 degrees minus 49 degrees, and we get 131 degrees. So our two solutions here are 311 degrees and 131 degrees. So both of these angles should satisfy this equation. We can check this back if you want. You get your calculator. I'll show you how to do that 
uh, like this. If you get your calculator and now we plug in um, the angle theta that we got here, we should get this negative 1.1504 number. So I'm going to do tangent of 311 degrees and there's our answer there which matches this uh, right side of the equation. So we know that one's correct and we can check the other one as well. We're going to do tangent of 131 degrees and there we are again. This is the same as the right side of this equation that we were given initially. So we know that these are the two solutions for this question. Thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.